everyone and welcome to the Ling Ladder. This is going to be a quick video, well potentially really quick. I, I've i been promising to post two videos a week and oh, it's just been one thing after another and I just couldn't bring myself to make a quick <laughs> video today. I was just like, oh I just can't, I can't. So we've had so many issues. Um, it's just been one thing after another but everyone's healthy <laughs> which is the most important thing obviously. Uh, basically car problems, you know, I mentioned in a video before that we spent a ton of money fixing the car um, It was over £2,000. We did everything to it. It had a new clutch It had a new timing belt. It had a new flywheel. It had a crankshaft sensor It had a bunch of stuff done to it and then on New Year's Eve my husband got into a car accident No one was hurt, but Arnold was quite injured we thought at the time, Arnold is the car, we thought at the time it wasn't that bad. Well, it obviously was bad, but it was still drivable. So basically it, it had cracked the casing of the headlight, um, it had scuffed and dented the bumper, but you know, it wasn't beyond repair. Um, and we thought, you know, it'll be okay, you know, it'll be, it'll, it'll be fine. And then the other day we come to start the car and it wouldn't start. Uh, so we got the REC, which is our recovery service that we have, and they came and they said, oh, oil's leaking onto the starter motor, which is why it wouldn't start. So we took it to a garage for a diagnostic, and it turned out that it's the head gasket. So whether it was broken during the accident or whether it's just wear and tear, our car's an 08, so it's pretty old now, 14 years old. So whether it's um, an 08, uh, sorry, whether it's 16 years old even, so whether it's um, just one of those age-related things, I'll just turn the oven off, whether it's one of those age-related things or whether it was caused by accident, I don't know, but it wasn't leaking before the accident, but it's a meat point now because it's leaking. So as far as I know, it's super expensive to fix. They said, it, they, the garage who took it to for the diagnostic said they couldn't do it, it'd have to go to the dealer um, of the vehicle type, so we'd have to take it to them and you know, you're looking on like a thousand pound plus to fix it. So. <sighs> And we have the wonderful news today, which is why I, couldn't, I just couldn't bring myself to make a video, <laughs> um, that their insurance are finding my husband's at fault. He reiterates that he it wasn't his fault, it was the other driver's fault, but it's, there's no evidence. And because the other driver was on the road and my husband was pulling into the road, basically that they're saying that it's his fault. He said he stopped, he, there was nobody there, he pulled out slowly, and this other car speeded around the corner and without lights on, it was dark, didn't have any lights on, and then they hit. But because the other guy was on the main road and he was coming onto the main road, that's why they say he's at fault. The other driver hasn't actually put an insurance claim in yet because he'd had three crashes within the last year. That says an awful lot about his driving, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so he didn't want to go through insurance, he wanted to sell it. Outside of insurance, my husband didn't want to do that, obviously. He said he wanted to go through the insurance, and so far we haven't heard from the other driver, so I don't know what's happening with him, but I really don't care at this point. Um, because it, the fact that he's been, my husband's been found at fault means that he will get wherever he needs anyway, so, um, you know, what's, what is there to be done if he decides to claim, but it just sucks, it really sucks, so it's like what you do, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, I think this is getting towards the end for him, but my husband still doesn't want to, he wants to try and fix him with sealant and see how long that lasts and stuff, but the problem is he's got to go for his MOT soon, which was due at the beginning of March, but we're going to do it sooner, see if there's anything else that needs fixing in order for him to be, to be able to pass his MOT and then decide whether or not to fix anything with regards to the sealant and everything else. Um, the, the irony of it is, is that we used a different insurance company because my husband was driving for Amazon at the time so it wasn't our regular insurance it's like a special courier insurance that you have and the excess on it was 500 pounds and because our car is probably only worth about 800 um they'll probably only give us about 300 so it's whether it's worth going through the insurance it probably isn't in which case we'll just have to keep him and try and fix him or if we can't fix him sell him for spares and repairs but it's just sad it's just oh i if I would have known now, I would never have said, yeah, go ahead and fix him. Because I would have said, I don't think that's a good idea last year to spend all that much money on him. But hindsight is a wonderful thing, isn't it? So yeah. And we still haven't moved. <laughs> so there's that too. Um, it's, we still haven't got a date. I have started packing there, like getting rid of stuff that I know I'm not going to take. But we still haven't got a moving date. And the icing on the cake this morning was my pre-ordered book that I was so excited about um is not coming because 
Amazon took the payment from an expired card instead of from, which I, I still maintain I didn't put it through as an expired card, but they said the card that they tried to put it through was expired and therefore I've lost my slot in the pre-order and now it won't come until the 6th of February. So yeah, that was my day. <laughs> so, not, isn't, none of the problems are, are that relevant to anyone else, it's just to me and um, I just, I just couldn't make a homeschool video today. I couldn't bring myself to do it. So you're just getting me moaning instead. I'll definitely um, make a homeschool video for the next video this week. But anyway, I'm making pink spaghetti for my daughter because she wanted pink spaghetti. So that's fun. Um, she, she'll enjoy that for her dinner. <laughs> but yes, it's just been one of those. Well, it, the, he actually had his crash on New Year's Eve. So, <laughs> so welcome to 2024. <laughs> But obviously, you know, worse things can happen. It could have been much worse. People could have got injured. But the fact that he was only just, he'd com he was at a complete stop and had just turned. It was the driver that was speeding. <laughs> so, because he'd actually, he was actually parked on, it was a weird junction. So he was actually parked further on a junction over here. So if you imagine, this is the junction where my husband's turning. He was parked outside of a restaurant over here because that was where he worked, I assume. And as my husband pulled out, he swung around the corner with no lights on and hit him. But he wasn't on the road at the time my husband was pulling out. So I still wonder whether there was anything fishy going on with this driver. Um, because he didn't want to go through the insurance. He was super weird at the time. Um, he said he asked my husband, had he been drinking? Um, and my husband hadn't drank anything. He was working, but he doesn't drink anyway. So he's like, no, you can call the police and do a breathalyzer test right now. And the other guy said... Um, oh, I'm sure they're too busy for that. And I'm thinking, really, if you genuinely thought someone was drunk, would you just say, oh, I'm not going to call the police because they'd be too busy? So it was just all really weird. And he, the, he said he, he knew he had, he had a group of lawyers and things. And it was just super, super strange. So I often wonder to this day whether it was one of those crash for cash things. Um, but my husband said, no, he wasn't going to pay him and that he'd have to go through the insurance if he wanted to make a claim. So... I don't know what's going to happen with that, but <sighs> there you go. <laughs> Welcome to 2024. <laughs> but looking at things in the news, you know, this is not really that important at all. So anyway, I am going to start waffling, get her her pink spaghetti, which actually looks really cool. <laughs> so she's making a little recipe book of really fun uh, recipes that she wants to try. And one of them was pink spaghetti. Uh, we've, I've done that unicorn spaghetti before, but I think the fact that she's made a Perone recipe book, it's like made it really super exciting to do things like that again. So she's having that. And we did homeschool today. That went well. So that's good. Um, we're up to date now with Saxon. Um, so we've caught up with those 10 lessons from doing our other math because we weren't doing that. So we just concentrate on getting Saxon done to catch up. Um, so that's we're up to date now with Saxon. And yeah, everything's going well. So that's at least one good thing homeschool is going well I managed to get Saxon 87 I don't know if you remember in a video back I think it was my homeschool update I was telling you I couldn't find it anywhere and I couldn't um it wasn't on Amazon um at all it, the only one they had was a used one and it was 180 pounds and I was thinking oh that doesn't sound right for me I used our uh, Saxon because you don't know if they've written in it or if they've um, pull pages out or anything because a lot of uh, the main part of Saxon aside from the textbook is the consumable sheets and things so I was thinking that doesn't sound right but I found um, it was a classical conversations actually <laughs> a company where I got it from so there you go if you're in the UK try classical conversations the, the delivery was free and it was 149 so much better than the 180 used mine was brand new so yeah check out them if you're interested if you're looking for things you can't find because they did have quite a, a lot of other things they had a lot of cc stuff but they also had um some iw on there as well so worth checking out but yes so that's everything i think for today so i'll see you in our next video which will definitely be a homeschool video so take care bye for now